Welcome to the CEO's Open Discussions Corner at PortfolioWealthGlobal.com. My name is Michelle Holliday. Today, we are welcoming to the show Mr. Roger Hardy. Roger is chairman and CEO of Kits.com Eye Care LTD. Roger is an entrepreneur with success after success in groundbreaking online e-commerce companies. We are excited to have him here today to talk about his latest venture and to learn how he has succeeded in taking industries which traditionally could never have succeeded online and turning them into massive financial e-commerce success. This is a skill which is very rare and incredibly valuable. Roger, welcome to the show. How are you today? I'm well, thank you, Michelle. Great to be here. Nice to see you. Great. Great to see you too. Love the hat. Love thank the hat. Thank you. Love Brand the cues, hat. you know they matter. <laughs> right. We've already made an arrangement that um, you know who will also receive a hat. And I also want to mention that in the background, that is real. That is downtown Vancouver. Yes, downtown Vancouver, a rare uh, day when it's not raining. So we'll take the sunshine here today. Spectacular. What a view. Now, we're excited to go into this because this is going to be a really interesting show for both entrepreneurs and also for investors, because you have become a master at transitioning brick and mortar industries into online e-commerce, which has become a lifeline for the success of today's economy and which opens up huge possibilities. So before we go into your current venture, Roger, I want to lay the groundwork of your own personal entrepreneurial history for everyone. So let's start off with your business mindset and the various companies and industries which you have led, the monetary size of those ventures, and your overall professional background. Sure, Michelle. Well, thank you again for having me. Um, Thinking back on on my background, you know, I started uh, Coastal.com with my sister back in 2000, uh, taking uh, optical products online direct. We we realized there was a a bit of a niche here and an opportunity. launched our website the first day we had you know fourteen hundred dollars in in revenue the first month seventy thousand dollars the first year two and a half million and so you know we really got in front of this secular change as people were early on moving from offline to online and and that trends continued those are sort of the trends we look for is um, industries that are ripe for disruption um, where the online will make it more convenient for consumers save money for consumers and so that's kind of what we looked for. So that business grew, uh, you know, approximately 30% a year for 14 years. I did a small listing on the TSX Venture um, uh, in 2004, bought a company in Sweden. Both companies grew to become over $200 million in revenue. Uh, in 2014, we were a NASDAQ-listed business, uh, and we got an unsolicited offer from Essilor to acquire the company in an all-cash transaction. Uh, we took that share that offered to the shareholders as a 10x return on the invested capital. Uh, and uh, so a 10 bagger for shareholders and um, they were tickled pink. And so we were happy to uh, sell the company. Since then, I've been doing, as you said, a bunch of other private investing and kept coming back to this opportunity in optical and, and how interesting it remains, this large category that, that no one has really yet figured out how to crack the full code on. And so we got uh, excited about doing it again. Now, to open up the topic of this industry itself, talk to us about the eye care sector, um, how it is currently servicing customers, and what challenges the old school model presents right now. Sure. So, so um, when we looked at the category, we think about many of the brands that we know today were built 40, 50, or 60 years ago for a consumer a 40 or 50, 60 years ago that didn't have the same technology, didn't have the same opportunity. Uh, the landscape hadn't been as disruptive uh, as it is today. So where convenience, where you have massive selection, where you have savings and pricing. And so when we thought about the category, um, those were the kind of things we wanted to do. And that's what we can do with a digitally native brand like Kits is to you know, give mass selection, cut out all the middlemen, make it more efficient for customers and, and save them time and money um, over the traditional retail landscape. So that's kind of, uh, that's kind of in a nutshell, how we approached it. 
Now, Roger, I really want to give everybody an idea of the size of this sector, um, because the eye care industry is enormous from cool brands of sunglasses, you know, and then we go into contacts and eyeglasses. Um, how big of a sector is the eye care landscape? Break this down for us in terms of products, numbers of customers, and the financial commerce statistics of this overall industry. Yes, Michelle, it, it is a, it, it's, it's a large category. If you think of the fact that 75% of people, three out of four of us need some form of vision correction. So some form of either eyeglasses or contact lenses, and then layer in the fact that many of us have sunglasses or, or use other uh, optical products, eye drops and, and the like. You know, we, we really looking at a massive category. It's about a $35 billion category in North America today. Uh, and uh, very little of that remains online today. So most of it is still done. 51% is still done in those, you know, mom and pop optical shops that we see scattered around the country. The entrance of e-commerce changes everything. Not only the fact that most people are shopping from home right now, but also when you transition from being a physical storefront into becoming an online global platform, the numbers of the customers that you are able to reach and your business structure itself becomes really a completely different planet. Yes, Michelle, it, it, it really is. So um, e-commerce has enabled us to, um, as I said, take out the middlemen, uh, serve customers a much more convenient way on their, on their phone in seconds or minutes. We can do an eye exam for you in four minutes on our phone, save you the time of driving to a, a store, waiting in line, uh, having limited selection. You know, we, we've got uh, incredible convenience, incredible value on our site. So, uh, hundreds and hundreds of, of choices. Uh, and as I said, four minutes to do an eye exam, minutes to, to order that product. We start making those glasses for you minutes later and they're, they're on your doorstep the next morning uh, with, a, with a full you know, money back refund. We'll pay for the shipping back to us if you're not happy and find you a pair that you love. So, so it's a, a model that consumers seem to, to, to really be getting excited about. Oh yeah, especially in this environment. Right. Now that we have the epidemic in motion. Um, yes. Yeah. Who wants to be at a mall right now? Who wants to be in a, in a store? Foot traffic is definitely way down in retail stores and with good reason. So staying home and doing this online. Now, I want to focus in really deeply upon your company, which, of course, is kits.com. What does kits stand for, first of all, and what does kits.com do? Give us the big picture of your company. Sure. So, you know, kits uh, is uh, short for Kitsilano. Uh, it's the beach here in Vancouver where my partners and I used to go early in the mornings, uh, pick up our coffee, and as we set out to kind of build a a disruptor in this category. Uh, and so Kits became the, the story that these early morning coffees on the beach in Vancouver, looking over the snow-capped mountains here, thinking about what we could do to this category and, and really be strategic about taking care of customers. So Kits stands for Kits Beach, but, but it also stands for the full kit for your eye care, which is we have contact lenses, we have eyeglasses, and we can do your vision test for you. So we put that all together and that we think is the full kit for, for your eye care. Now, Roger, you are on the stock market trading at the moment, right? We are, yes. We're trading on the TSX in Canada. Just completed an IPO. Very exciting for, for the company. Beautiful. What are your tickers and where do you trade? We trade on the TSX under the ticker KITS, Kits. Beautiful. And uh, we, we're hoping to list uh, shortly on the OTC uh, in the U.S. as well, so U.S. investors can find us uh, quite easily there as well. Man, I always say it's all about the ticker. You know what I mean? If you can remember the Keep ticker, that's everything. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I wear the hat. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Now, turning to the leadership of your company, please start off by describing your own role and then talk to us about your management team. Who are they and what is the history of their profession? Sure. We're, we're extremely fortunate to have a, uh, an impressive leadership team that's kind of been here and done it before. Uh, I mentioned my background, uh, starting Coastal, uh, building it, and then selling it for 
uh, half a billion dollars to Essilor in cash. Uh, after that, um, my, our CFO, Sabrina Lyak, um, a fellow Canadian, but went down to New York, worked at Goldman Sachs for 15 years, was a, a key member of that team for, for a long time, managing some of their portfolio. She returned to Vancouver with her husband, who she met at Goldman, a Vancouverite. Uh, and I was fortunate enough to team up with her to start looking at uh, different businesses. Uh, and then we met our third partner and co-founder, Joe Thompson. His background was at P&G. Uh, in Cincinnati, uh, again, a fellow Canadian who'd gone down to Cincinnati. Then he was recruited to Amazon, uh, where he worked in Seattle for a number of years. And again, married a Vancouverite, came back to Vancouver with his uh, his wife, and uh, and the three of us set out to build something that would really be meaningful in this category. And we have the good fortune of all bringing a sort of a diverse set of skills and backgrounds to to the table, and that's allowed us to really grow this business very, very quickly. Now, going back, Roger, to something you mentioned, which is the online eye exam, a lot of people have a little bit of a challenge envisioning themselves purchasing eye care online. So take us through the steps and the details of your company. Sure. So um, maybe I'll start with the easiest thing is that if you're a contact lens wearer, you know, the, the prescription for your contacts is on the back of your box. It's right there on the back of your box tops. And so just by entering those two numbers into our, our site, we can find you those contact lenses. We've got one of the largest contact lens inventories in North America. We're more likely than anyone else to have it in stock, ready to go, and at the very best price relative to all of our competitors. So we make sure that we have the lowest price guarantee on contact lenses. Um, we do have an eye test that's available on our website. It takes about four minutes to take it, and it looks a lot like an eye test does in, in a doctor's office. We will show you some letters. We'll get you to step back from your computer screen, and then you'll make sure that, uh, that those numbers and letters, uh, you can see them. Uh, and finally, we send that information to an optometrist, and they have a last check of your information to review it, and then we've got a, an updated uh, eye exam for you. So um, it's very quick. Like I said, it takes about four minutes. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're just trying to make it easier for you so you don't have to leave your house, don't have to expose yourself to anything you don't want to expose yourself to these days. Uh, and it's very cost effective. You know, eye exams in a traditional retail store can be $60, $70, $100. Um, we're including that uh, for the, with, with your order uh, at no charge. With the order of your eyewear? Correct, yeah. We, so we include that eye exam with the order of your eyewear at no charge. That's amazing. So you can go online, get your eye exam, have a professional optometrist look at it, tell you what you need for free, and then you go ahead and order your glasses. Now, what kind of styles and how many styles do you have? I'm assuming there's a lot. Yeah, yeah. So we've got about 600 styles today. Um, uh, everything from branded frames, from a Tom Ford to Gucci to a Calvin Klein to a Ray-Ban to an Oakley. But we also have our own Kits branded frames, which are inspired by some of the best designers in the world. We have designers ourselves in Milan and also in Stockholm uh, in Sweden. So we've got a kind of a Scandinavian feel as well as an Italian uh, design team out of Milan that keeps us on the cutting edge from a style perspective. Uh, and marry that together with all those other brands I mentioned, we feel like we've got a really robust offering. Wow. That would be fun just to go look at your site to see what kind of sunglasses and some kind of eyewear that you have. Now, Gucci, now, uh, do brand names create prescription eyewear also? And pardon my non-knowledge there. <laughs> yeah, so so we can do prescription eyewear in, in branded frames. Um, yeah, so we've got um, Gucci, Ray-Ban, Tom Ford. And what we do is we will then make your custom prescription in our lab here. It's one of the highest, highest volume, highest tech labs in North America to make very precise eyewear. Um, we'll start making that minutes after you order. We'll have it in a box and out the same day to you so that it's on your doorstep the next day. So if you've broken your glasses, if you've lost your glasses, you know, we can get these to you very, very quickly. This is extraordinary. The way you have taken, as I mentioned at the top, you're sort of a master of taking brick and mortar that no one would ever believe could turn into an e-commerce company. But this sounds like you have the whole vision. What is your vision for uh, 2021 in terms of this company and then beyond? 
Sure. You know, so we've had in- incredible growth over the past couple of years. Um, as we it, last year, we were more than 50 million of revenue in our second year of operation. Uh, this year, we've expected quite a bit of growth. Um, as we look forward, the analysts have predicted um, very aggressive growth. We think there's a secular change happening where billions of dollars that are today going into traditional retail are moving online. And so we hope to be the benefactor of that secular change. We feel like we've got a great offering. We're well positioned to meet customers as they come online. And and, uh, so I think we should see some aggressive growth, but we're not just a growth story. We've had earnings historically. And so we we believe that um, as we grow our business, we'll have also a very profitable business. Now, this is a question um, many investors would want to know. Are you globally oriented? Because as we talked about before, when you take one storefront that has a lot of expenses, a lot of overhead, and then you bring it online, sort of changes the whole animal. But do you service the whole world? What is your um, perspective on this when it comes to kids? Sure. So the North American market, as I mentioned, about a $35 billion market, about 10% of it's online today. And it's and the online piece is growing very, very quickly. So we think that that's the right focus for us at this time is to just keep taking our share as people move online. And, um, you know, at some stage, I think there's a global opportunity here. But for the short term, it's focused on just the North American opportunity. So it could become global in the future. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You know, we've we've looked at a number of different markets. We see the Asia Pacific market looking very interesting. Had some discussions with companies there. So at some point, we could see us, you know, either expand there through M and A, some type of a creative transaction, uh, or just do our own organic growth. Our organic growth has been, you know, very very impressive over the past couple of years. Oh yeah, and think about the people, the mothers that are staying home that are just overwhelmed with what's happening, and they have children that need eye exams and eyeglasses, and what are they going to choose? And and you, kids, they want to see everything. So you bring them into a store, and they spend three hours trying to choose what kind of style they want, especially girls. And um, <laughs> this is the beauty, uh, grown grown girls (laughs) spend three hours trying to find out what kind of frames or eyeglasses they would like. So the advantage of, um, or the leisureness of being able to do this online and to go through and really explore, you know, because you get your eye frames and then the next day your friend walks out with a cooler pair and it's like, I didn't see that. So this (laughs) is a really great uh, shopping platform, if you will. Yeah, you know, so one of the things we have is a, a virtual try-on. So you can upload, a, your, take a picture of yourself with your camera, the, like the cameras we're using right now. And then you literally click through hundreds of frames just by, you know, pressing forward and ha- seeing which frame looks good on you, which one you like. You can forward that to your friends, family to get their feedback as well. So it's, um, you know, this virtual shopping, you're, you're right. It's just a lot easier than being in the store. Like you see a lot more, the selection's bigger. And of course the pricing is, you know, is about half the price or less than what you would pay in a traditional retail optical store for the exact same frame. That's amazing. That's amazing. Because with hairstyles, you want to see what it's going to look like. Clothes, you want to see what it's going to look like. This allows you to see what you're going to look like in your frames. I'm excited for this. Roger, I want to go back to entrepreneurialism because right now we have an atmosphere where so many people started their own businesses and, you know, um, were crushed by what's happened economically. What's the best advice someone like yourself who has the vision? You have, like I said, you're a master at taking um, brick and mortar onto e-commerce. But what about the entrepreneurs who are masters elsewhere. What's your best advice as far as mindset goes right now? Yeah, sure. I mean, I think the best advice I would have is that as an entrepreneur, you always need to be looking for the growth in your category. Every category has growth. And as I think about our own category, you know, blue light lenses, you know, the, the, the overall you know, population is only growing at a small percentage, but blue light glasses are growing at 700% year over year. So, You know, there's always a growth vector in every category. So for me, it's always about looking at where's the growth vector? How do we participate in in that rising tide that's lifting the boat to get out in front of that that tide and get into that that current? And that's going to lift you forward. 
you know, it doesn't really matter what's happened in the past. I think we got to keep focused on where you're going to go, where you're going to take the company, where you're going to take your team and your group. And it's these tapping into these growth vectors that really is what, you know, what, what delivers growth and earnings for, for businesses today. That's really interesting, too, because you have a background in fine wine, you have a background in various industries, so you don't necessarily need to focus on just one. If you have an idea, inspiration, you can always take, it's just, it's so healthy for people to look at someone like yourself that is, you know, not just one industry, you're not a miner who's mined gold all his life. Right. <laughs> you know, I've seen I've, I've just been fortunate to be around, uh, you know, a bunch of categories that were going through changes. And um, and the wine business, it was all about finding a better way to deliver that wine to to customers. And uh, uh, that was an exciting one. Um, yeah. So I, I think that's the key is find the growth part of the category and, you know, hit your wagon to that growth part. Try to serve customers in a better way than they're being served. That's the other thing we focus on at Kits is all about uh, how can we do, how can we give customers more selection? How can we do it at a better price? How can we get it to them faster? You know, nobody has time to wait a week for their eyeglasses. I, if I need glasses, I need to see today. And so, you know, that, that's what we're focused on doing is outperforming the competition. Right. Well, this has been an incredible interview. Is there anything else you'd like to add in closing? No, just really enjoyed the discussion, Michelle. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll look forward to getting you a hat, okay? Oh, absolutely. Before we go, please tell everyone where they can go to learn more about your company. And also, please repeat your tickers one more time, as if no one knows it with your hat, but we'll do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> sure. The, uh, the company's called kits.com and our uh, website's at kits.com. Our ticker is kits, K-I-T-S. Uh, on the TSX and soon on the OTC. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're, we're excited uh, to have you come and visit the store and uh, see if what you like, uh, if you like what we're doing, if you like our offering and, and hope you'll participate. Thanks Beautiful. again. Now, how can investors uh, learn more? Are there is there an investor tab on your website? Yeah, sure. So at kits.com forward slash IR, we've got a IR tab and um, we can share information with them there. You can also find out information uh, at the TSX uh, uh, by searching the ticker KITS. Okay. Everybody have a good time going to kits.com and shopping for your parents, your children, and yourself with some spectacular eyewear. I will be there. <laughs> Roger, thank you so much for coming on this show today to introduce your company. Thank you, Michelle. Fantastic. Great to meet you. Have a great day. Yes. Mr. Roger Hardy, Chairman and CEO of Kits.com Eyewear LTD for the CEO's Open Discussions Corner. I'm Michelle Holliday at PortfolioWealthGlobal.com. 